If you remember, the Veta scapulae basically runs from the posterior tubercle of the transverse process C1 to C4 and basically inserts into the upper medial border of the scapula. So to find that, the upper medial border of the scapula, to find the scapula is the inferior angle. We've got to the medial border there, so the upper part of it is here. You can see the spine of the scapula. It's going to come in here. And his action is basically to elevate the medial border of the scapula. So if I just get the, the model to raise his shoulders up towards his ears, it's going to be in there. But it can be, it's basically hidden behind the splenae muscles at the top part and um, the, the trapezius muscles at the bottom part. So that's only the middle part of it you can find, uh, find the actual muscle itself. And that's the only reason the part that's, uh, that's uncovered and most easily palpatable. And you can push through the trapezius or lift the traps up and then coming from the front anteriorly to find the trigger points of levator scapulae. You can also check the, the, the length of these, but we're not going to do that now. And uh, stabilising the scapula and getting the, the patient to move their head, that can also give you some sort of idea of the levator scapulae working. The referral pattern is pretty much, it's very similar to the trapezius. It kind of runs down the neck across the so shoulder here uh, to about here and runs down the medial border of the scapula. So if you're not having any success with the trapezius, then levator scapulae may be one of these uh, muscles that you want to go to to try and uh, to treat. When you're going to, to needle it, you get the patient to lie prone and because again, like the tra trapezius, we're quite close to the lungs and the intercostal muscles and the danger of going through the intercostal muscles, we want to use uh, a, a needling angle at inferior to superior, a sort of tangent, transgenital to angular, I think it's referred to. So what we do is we get the patient to put his arm in a sort of hammerlock position there. And then I just get them to lift the, tr uh, the, the shoulder up against their, their ear. If that, I can feel it contracting here, so I'll then grip the, the muscle, put the introduce, introducer there, and if you can sort of kind of grip between your thumb and the middle finger and holding that at the same time, you're in the right direction. You want to be careful, you're not going too much in anterior and posterior, and then you just come down, tap, enter the muscle into the vata scapulae, I, I prefer when I am mus um, needling this area, I prefer to do it just with a, um, a twisting motion until I feel the needle bite, and then I just relax, let them rest. I'd be very careful not to go through the intercostal space because you could do some damage and cause a pneumothorax. So again, just to recap that, we get the patient to hammerlock, the shoulder up there, relax, now just relax, just relax. I found the muscle, I'll take it in a pincer grip, I will hold it inferior, dialed, superior to inferior direction and tap, gently introduce the needle, I will usually feel it bite, I will leave it resting and then um, we can go on from there.